Hello friends and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll tell you about all the different ways to play Power World on your Mac computer. The methods that will be explained next are Boosteroid, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Crossover, Parallels, and Bootcamp. Let's get started. Cloud gaming services let you stream the game over the internet, so you don't have to download it, making this an ideal method if you're short on storage space, don't have a powerful Mac, or simply want a straightforward option that's easy to set up and use. The downside is having a bad internet connection, or being far from the cloud gaming servers, that can negatively impact your experience, causing lag, stuttering, and decreased visual quality. An important thing to consider here is that not all cloud gaming services support all game stores for a particular game. With Boosteroid, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second, but whether you actually get that depends on your internet. The service automatically diminishes the game's visual quality to keep the performance smooth if you're experiencing connectivity disruptions. Since your experience with Boosteroid is entirely determined by the stability of your connection to its servers, we recommend testing your connection on their website. To run the connection test, follow the link below the video to the Boosteroid site. Then register or use the Google sign up option and once you're logged in, click the network test button at the top. This will give you a general estimation of the performance you can expect when gaming through Boosteroid. But note, even if you get only 2 bars, this doesn't necessarily mean that the game will be unplayable. We tested Boosteroid with such a connection and while there was occasional decrease in image quality and some stuttering, the experience was still mostly ok for casual gamers. Needless to say, anything above 2 bars is great for pretty much any game. If you decide to try the service after testing your connection, first go to the profile page, click subscribe, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar at the top, click on the play button, and click on OK let's go. Finally, enter your username and password for the respective game store and the game will load inside your browser. For an even smoother gameplay, we recommend using a dedicated Mac OS app that you can download from its site. But if you still prefer to play directly from the browser, we recommend Chrome and Firefox, as the service seems to work best with these two. To play this game with Xbox Cloud Gaming, first you need to go to the services site by following the link in the description. Click join and sign up. Then subscribe to the Game Pass Ultimate plan. This is the only plan that includes the cloud gaming service. If you have a game controller, connect it to your Mac and then you can directly go to the cloud's platform page, search for the game and click play. If you don't own a controller, you'll first need to install this keyboard and mouse extension. Pin it to your browser and then turn it on before starting the game. When the game starts, click in the center of your screen to start using the extension for your controls. Note that playing in this way can take some time to getting used to, and you may need to change some of the key bindings if the default ones don't feel comfortable. Also, note that this cloud gaming service works best with Chrome and Microsoft Edge, so we recommend using those. If you're looking for an alternative to cloud gaming that will let you play Power World on your Mac, Crossover is your best option. This app provides you with several translation layers that can be used to run Windows software directly in your Mac OS. In the case of Power World, the performance isn't amazing even on high-end Apple Silicon Macs, yet it's still a valid workaround for playing the game locally. To give you an idea of what to expect in terms of performance, you'll be able to get around 40 FPS on M1 Pro machines with 16 gigs of memory while running the game with low settings. Admittedly, this isn't ideal, but if you're still willing to try this method, here's how to set it up. The first step is to download and install the app on your Mac. As a courtesy to our viewers, you will get a 10% off the purchase price if you use the affiliate link in the description. You can also choose a 14 day free trial in case you want to just take it for a spin before deciding whether to commit to the service. Once you install Crossover, go to the bottle menu and create a new bottle with Windows 10 compatibility. Then right click the bottle, select install software, search for Steam and install it. Log into Steam client, search for the PAL world in your library and download it. If you don't already own the game, you should purchase it now directly from the client. Once the download finishes, exit Steam, go to its bottle, enable the D3D Metal and eSync options, and reboot the bottle if required to. You can also try the DXVK settings instead of the D3D Metal to see if you get better performance. In our case, D3D Metal worked better. After that, you can finally launch the game and start playing it on your Mac. Finally, we'll tell you about two more methods that we can't really recommend over the previous ones, but can still work for some of you. Those methods are Parallels Desktop for Apple Silicon machines 
and Boot Camp for Intel Macs. Both methods involve running the game in a Windows environment, and technically, it works, but the reason we don't recommend them is that only very powerful Macs will be able to run Power World in this way. With Parallels, your Mac will be able to use only half of its resources to run the game. As for Boot Camp, since it's only available for Intel machines, and since those got discontinued over 4 years ago, there aren't very many Intel machines out there that meet the high system demands of Power World. Still, if you want to try either of those options, we'll show you how to set them up. Parallels is like Crossover, but rather than providing a compatibility layer, Parallels creates an entire virtual machine for Windows. This gives you the option and provides a more stable platform for running Windows software, but it also requires your Mac to support two operating systems at the same time, meaning that only half of the resources can go to the game that's running in the VM. For this reason, we recommend Parallels only to users who have a powerful M1 or M2 Mac, as those are the only machines on which you can get decent gameplay performance with Parallels. To set up Parallels Virtual Machine, start by clicking the Parallels link in the description and downloading the app. Next, install the app, open it, and click on the Install Windows option. After some loading, a Windows Virtual Machine will be created on your Mac. To access it, you'll first need to create a Parallels account or choose one of the sign up options. Here's where you need to choose whether to purchase the app or to use the 14 day free trial. We recommend the second option as it lets you test the waters and see if you're satisfied with the gameplay experience through Parallels. Once in the Windows VM, starting the game is a simple matter of downloading the respective game launcher, installing the game, and starting it as if you're on a Windows PC. Bootcamp lets you install Windows in a separate partition only on an Intel Mac. This is a viable method that ensures full compatibility with all Windows software, but it requires a ton of storage space and quite a bit of time to set up. The plus side is, it lets you use all your Mac's resources for the game, but the computer will still need to meet the game system requirements. So if you own an Intel based machine, have enough storage to accommodate two operating systems, and you're willing to spend a couple of hours to get everything ready, you can give it a try. To use Boot Camp, first download a Windows 10 64-bit file from Microsoft, and then go to your Utilities folder and start the Boot Camp Assistant app. Load the Windows file in it, and give enough space for the Windows partition, say around 50 to 80 gigabytes, leaving at least 20 gigabytes for your Mac OS, and then launch the installation. Your Mac will restart, and then you must follow the prompts to install Windows. Once you get the product key screen, simply click I don't have a product key option to continue. Once Windows is finally ready, update your drives and install any missing Windows updates, and you're ready to go. All that's left to do at this point is to download the game like you would on a regular Windows PC, and it should run without any compatibility issues. So those were all the methods to play Power World on your Mac that we found and tested. We hope that this video will help you have fun on your Apple machine. Tell us in the comments if you tried any of the suggested methods and share your experience with them. Also, if you have any questions or need help with any of our guides, don't hesitate to request our aid and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. For more similar guides and other Mac gaming content, smash the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.